Hey everyone, this is Jamie. Today I'm without makeup because I frankly had purple over my brows <laughs> like yesterday and I scrubbed too hard so it really aches here so I figured to skip that bit today and let my skin rest for a day because it's gonna get, you know, plastered a bunch of things later and uh, basically today I want to talk about how I don't feel proud of being trans and um, there is no right way to say it there is no right way to put it and it's from external influences and that's why I've been talking more about like uh, gay issues on my channel, I've tried to, or like, talk about makeup because a lot of people really don't understand that um, trans is not everything that you are you're a very, very complex human being and when I see people saying literally trans embodies me, I'm trans and like, I never put trans as the first word which comes in association to me. Um, I do come from a position of privilege in the part that <clears throat> I do pass. I, I know that maybe in some places I won't because I'm really flamboyant but I pass where I am when I visit other places and that's good that's good for me it's something which I still get scared about like oh my god what if I'm not passing or like because I wear like skirts sometimes right like what if I'm not passing in the skirt and they're gonna be like Sir, come over here, and I'm like, okay, wiggle, wiggle, in the skirt. And uh, the more I look at the trans community, the more I see that we've really been divided, it's a mess. And uh, even if I come towards many other people, and uh, I try to help as much as I can, to those who I know, to new guys who reach out to me because I've been out for a really long while when it comes to being an online presence, I guess. So, it's not that I'm stopping any of those things. On My online life uh, isn't changing if anyone's worried. But I do think I will slowly start, just like every other YouTuber who gets to a place in life, um, will start spreading into something else. So I kind of want to focus more on gay issues. Um, I will be talking about different countries and their acceptance which is something which is really hard to find online and uh, surgeries ahead so stuff like that but when it comes to trans issues it's like yes I can continue talking about how unfair I see the trans community and how the people with privilege shut up those who don't have privilege and that's the irony isn't it like people like to talk over saying that white people have it good and i understand right now the current situation in america but before and in general like when you talk about russians Eastern European and homosexuality, uh, you can't say they're privileged. It's such a complicated, rough history.
also kind of in my own personal recent events. Um, I've seen me being trans as, as a tool against me. And I am self in my life, besides like on grind when I go to hook up, obviously, and with other trans people who I know or other people who I feel safe to come out to. Being trans has always been a struggle. It's always an uphill battle. You always have to think whether you have to come out or not. You have to think about the people around you, you have to think about your safety. And people don't get that. I am tired of seeing myself being compared to genitalia. I am tired of somehow having a woman's perspective of growing up. No, honey. I knew what it was like growing up and not being comfortable with your body. I am in no way a woman. And because of that toxic, toxic rhetoric, I have things which I am very, very regretful about. And good things are happening to me. Everything is changing. And that's what happens when you start testosterone. You slowly start noticing the changes day after day after day after day. Time passes, you get older, but you, you start matching your reflection. It may not be ideal, but um, for me, when I've really been harsh on myself, I, I am happy to see what I see in the reflection. And it has taken me God knows how many years to just say that openly. I have the support. And it's still really hard because I had to just stop talking to certain people. And then so I could reach out to others and um, everything is really difficult. Everything has been difficult. So when people say they have pride in being trans and they want to flaunt it, I, I know that I will not understand their situation. But neither will they understand mine. I think we've reached that point in history where sometimes you just don't understand people. It's not about generation gaps. It's because people are so inside their own shells. Before there were discussions, now there's none. So people who are older, well, maybe there is a generational gap, or who start transitioning older, rather, tend to stay away, or as their progression goes, they kind of vanish from the community. And I always thought that I'd never be that person, but life changes you. And uh, I still always will be there to support everyone. But I don't want to be seen just a trans person. I am more. And just because I choose to be stealth, just because 
I pass. It doesn't give anyone the right to point out or put me out of the closet. So yeah, I kind of was a bit too vulnerable, and thank you for watching.